Welcome back to Sophia's Art Supply Review. In this video, I would be reviewing the Brustro Metallic Watercolor Half Band Set of 12 Colors. If you are a traditional watercolorist like myself, it's most likely that you have never used metallic colors. However, if you are heavily into art journaling, card making or calligraphy, you may have most definitely used metallic colors in some form or the other. Let's take a look at the outer packaging first. It has a simple elegant design in black which is Brustro's signature color. The back of the box has a swatch card which gives an indication of the colors inside. It also mentions here that the colors are made of mica pigment and gum arabic. For those of you who are not familiar with gum arabic, it's a binder which is typically what adheres the paint pigment to the paper. Personally, I like watercolors which use gum arabic as a binder since it has this quality that keeps the paints mildly moist, allowing it to get activated with water faster. The color also claims to be richly pigmented with the ability to be used both on light and dark colored papers. Like most Brustro product, there is no manufacturing date or price mentioned on the box. However, it is currently available on Amazon for Rs. 1299. I've added the product link in the description box below. The black metal box is compact, light and extremely travel friendly. There is a Brustro sticker with the product name on the top. The back of the box has a metal ring which makes it easier to hold the box like a pallet. The inside of the box has a foldable metal pallet for mixing. And of course you can always remove the paint tray or use the lid as additional space as well. The paint tray is not snug fit which makes it noisy but that's not really a deal breaker for me. I really like this plastic protector they have added which prevents the paint from staining the palette when the box is closed. And now coming to the heart of the product and that's the paint itself. The metallic colors are eye-catching and the color range looks really good. Since it's a limited palette, it's also easy to identify the colors with the color names on the box. However, if you get confused, the back of the pan has initials that help you to identify the colors. For example, here you have pearl silver, shimmering pink and copper shimmer. Now without further ado, let's test out the paints. I have completed the swatch test and this is what I have to say. I am truly impressed by the set. I love the selection of colors. The iridescence of the metallic colors worked well both on black as well as white paper. The paints were easy to activate with water and equally easy to apply. I felt no harsh texture or grittiness during application. I found out that it was possible to use it not only to give a thin translucent wash but also to apply it in multiple layers. Overall, I feel it's a great set to add to your collection, especially if you're into abstract art or just looking at livening up your conventional style. And needless to say, if you're into art journaling, calligraphy or card making, definitely pick up this set to add an extra bit of oomph to your artwork. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and do subscribe to my channel to watch an art supply review every Wednesday.